Welcome to our spiritual communion service. It is the second Sunday in Lent and at St. Paul's in Parkhurst we are also having our vestry. So please, those who are watching this online, keep us in your prayers. Pray that God's will shall be done. Pray that we shall find a new way of being Christ in our context. And on that note, let us continue prayerfully. If you'd like to follow in the Anglican prayer book, please join us on page 104. But of course, you don't have to. I invite you to reflect. I pray that you will encounter God through this online service, whenever and wherever you're watching it. So the Lord be with you. In Lent we pray the Ten Commandments, and I'm using an alternative version of them, the reason being, hopefully they make us reflect more deeply. I am the Lord your God. You shall identify falsehoods and treat them as such. You shall respect the power of words, names and language. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Honour your father and mother. You shall let other living beings live. You shall honour the relationship contracts that you enter and those of others. You shall honour the property of others. You shall uphold the truth as you have seen it. You shall strive for your own happiness and of others. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray the Collect for Purity. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us call to mind and confess our sins, remembering our God of love wants us to be redeemed. And it is only through really engaging with our sins that we can hope to transcend them. And Lent is a perfect time for us to do that. We pray together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray our collect for today, which is the second Sunday in Lent. God of the covenant, you promised mercy and hope for us all. Gather us to yourself in tenderness, so that assured of your faithfulness, we may live to your praise and glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our readings for today are Genesis chapter 15, verses 1 through 12, and 17 through 18. Our psalm is Psalm 27. Second reading is Philippians chapter 3, verses 17 to chapter 4, verse 1. And our gospel reading is Luke chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. I'd like you to pause now and read the readings 
And of course, you might also want to listen to our sermon, which is by Gillian Godsell this week. And I pray that you are touched by the reading and the sermon. Of course, if you'd like to continue with the prayers and the liturgy now, and watch that later, you might have even watched it already, let us pray. Lord, firstly, we pray for our world. We pray for the situation in Ukraine. We pray for the Russians as well as the Ukrainians. We pray for soft hearts. And this trigger happy fingers. We pray for redemption that only you can bring in escalating conflict. Of course, Lord, we realize that there are other areas in the world that are also in conflict. And we pray for those too. If we think of the Middle East, Africa, Asia, if we think of even our own country, Lord, where domestic violence and abuse so prevalent everywhere in the world Lord there is dis-ease everywhere there is sin everywhere we are hurting each other and your creation we ask for your forgiveness Lord and we repent we pray also Lord for those who have asked for our prayers be they those in the parish leaflet or those in our hearts we pray for them all. We think of those whose year's mind occurs this week, Lord, whether they are in our pew leaflet or in our hearts. And Lord, we pray for our vestry again, trusting that you will make your will felt. And may we be faithful to your voice. We offer you all these prayers in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So now let us share the peace spiritually until we meet in person. The peace of the Lord be with you and yours. Come now to share God's gift of Holy Communion mystically. If you'd like to follow in the prayer book, it's on page 131. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, God, but it's also our duty and joy to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him you have created us in your image. Through him you have made us your own people by the gift of your Holy Spirit. And so we pray, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he or she who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Father, through Christ your Son, our Lord, and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit we may mystically share in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Therefore, Father, proclaiming his saving death and resurrection and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate with this mystical communion his one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and grant that we who share mystically in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ may be renewed by your spirit and grow into his likeness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, all honour and glory are yours, Father, now and forever. Amen. As Christ has taught us, 
we are bold to pray in the version and language of our choice. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, may all that is you flow into us. May your body and blood be our food and drink. May your passion and death be our strength and life. Jesus, with you by our side enough has been given. May the shelter we seek be the shadow of your cross. Let us not run from the love which you offer, but hold us safe from the forces of evil. On each of our dyings, shed your light and your love. Keep calling to us until that day comes when, with your saints, we may praise you forever. Amen. Our concluding prayers are on page 129 of the prayer book, if you'd like to follow. If not, please just reflect. May these prayers wash over you and bring you healing and peace. May the God of peace, who raised Christ from the dead, strengthen your inner being for every good work. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon you and dwell within you this day and evermore. Amen. And so give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious. And be at peace and love and serve the Lord and God's people and God's creation. In the name of Christ. Amen. Until we meet again, either in person or via this platform. God bless you and stay well. And of course, give us feedback if you'd like to. We really do appreciate hearing from you. Our details are on the parish leaflet, which is on our WhatsApp channel or on our YouTube channel. Please reach out to us if we can assist you in any way. Amen. Thank you.